All the hits Z100 in the studio, my man, Grayson Chance, everybody. Woo! <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. How are you, brother? I'm doing really good. We're in Portland tonight. Is this your first time in Portland? This is my first time in Portland. I really like it. I was just in Seattle last night, and I'm in Portland now. Seattle? They say Seattle and Portland are very similar, but I think we're cooler. I think we're better. Don't tell Seattle. Exactly, right? <laughs> now, are you still on tour with Cody Simpson? Simpson? I have, uh, we have one more show tonight, and that's in Portland. This so this is, is the final show. This is the finale. This, this is, is it. The Big Bang. This is it. Then what's next for you? Well, I have an album coming out, actually, around back to school time. It's called Hold On Till the Night, and I've been working on it for a while now, so I'm really excited, but I have a summer tour going, and uh, we have a lot of things going on in the summer. So let's just back it up in case, in case people don't know. Um... You put a YouTube video up of you yes. performing a Lady Gaga song. Paparazzi, Paparazzi yes. at, uh, like, was it a school, like, choir function? Or yeah, was it was like a... It was like a school talent show slash choir function slash why don't we just put something together yeah. slash thing. My favorite <laughs> part of that video is watching the girls behind you because they're, they're, they're like, you know, half paying attention. They're at this thing and all of a sudden you start singing paparazzi and I just see like all at once their faces <laughs> just drop. Their, their, their jaws like, dude, this kid's got skills. <laughs> what I, what I love about that video is like some of the girls seem really shocked, but then some of the girls are just like, yeah, some of them, some of them are just like they were one hundred percent not paying attention to what was going on. Exactly. Being they're, being they're teenage out. girls, and then as soon as you started singing, they're like, "Whoa, something's going on." So but, you posted this thing up on YouTube, and how quickly did it get just a junk load of hits? Well, you know, it it took I I posted it about two weeks after I did the performance, and then about two weeks later, we were at about a thousand hits, and then that's when Ellen ended up calling. So Ellen called at a thousand. Ellen called at around like a thousand, yeah, somewhere around there. Did somebody send it to Ellen, or did she just like stumble upon it? Well, they got because uh, I'm actually good friends with one of the producers at Ellen, who actually called me and said, "Hey, come on!" And so you know, she said, "You know, we kept on getting all these videos." Wait, wait, how how old are you? Thirteen. When I was 13 years old, I didn't know a producer at Ellen. How do you know a producer at Ellen? I'm 30 and I don't know any producers at Ellen. Well, you know, I've been on Ellen a couple of times, so I know my way around. It's like a, kind of a second home. But at, so at the point you put the video up, you would you had never been on Ellen. So no. So how did Ellen? So then, how, how did initially Ellen find it? Well, you know, um, she what the producer told me is she said you know she kept on getting emails and people were saying oh look at this video okay and then my brother actually sent uh, it in and put all of our information and everything I my see, brother I did see. it and my brother was supposed to be studying for finals at the time because he's in college so studying for finals but oh why don't Study we send the finals video meant to Ellen. sending you, the YouTube videos to Ellen exactly and so he sent it in and then you know I was called up onto the show I was on the show and then after that you know I was signed and uh, now I'm Almost about to release so an album. When you got that call, was it Ellen herself? Well, Ellen uh, actually called my mom herself and was like, "Hey." Did your mom believe it was Ellen, or did she think it was someone pretending to be Ellen? Well, my mom was a real was a really big Ellen fan, yeah. and so she was like, <laughs> "She was speechless." Ellen. Uh, so she she was pretty speechless, and I remember getting that call from her. She was like, "Ellen just called me," and I was like, "Wait, Ellen? Who's Ellen?" That's um, crazy. <laughs> well, you're in, you're you were in school when Ellen was on. I was. I was in school, and then my mom called me, and she was like, "Hey, we're flying out to LA tonight. You're gonna be on the that's, Ellen show." And I was like, "Awesome." Okay. <laughs> and then you were. Correct me if I'm wrong. You were like Ellen's first artist on her label, yes. correct? Yes. Eleven, eleven, first artist. That's awesome. So it's been, it's been a pretty big transition, but we're having lots of fun with it. That's and we're great. on tour right now, and we're just finishing up the Waiting For You tour. So it's been great. So good. on tour all summer, and then the video or the uh, the album drops uh, in the fall. Yes. And tell us about, like, the process of, of your first album. Like, is it is it what you thought it would be? Is it different? Is it more difficult? Well, you know, being uh, an artist and having this transition, you know, it's... it's uh, it's a big change, but you know I've I've been in the studio for about a year now, and uh, you know we're just putting on the final touches. But you know I really love making the music because I'm involved a lot with the writing as well. Mm -hmm. I'm writing a lot of the record, and so I've just had such a blast going to the studio and writing and then cutting the vocals, and then and it's really fun to be on tour because you really get to see how much your work pays off. Yeah, like you get to see the fans when and, people you know, sing your songs. Exactly. I bet that's the 
I've always thought that would be like the coolest thing for an artist oh. when you're when you're in front of the, people and they know your music. The first time that ever happened is I my first international trip that I ever did. I went to Paris, and uh, this was before I was touring in the U.S. and anything. And we went to Paris, and it was all these French people, and they were singing "Waiting," and they That's couldn't awesome. even speak English, but they were singing "Waiting." That's it awesome. Was, it was like the coolest thing, and you know they come with their T-shirts that right. they made, and you know some of them come with these big hats that they've made, and they they throw roses and bracelets up on stage they're, they're very sweet do you uh so you are 13 13 years old yes do you have a do you have a tutor on tour with you i do have a tutor on tour with me i actually just got done with school so you're done with the you're done for the year so well actually today i just got done with school congratulations before, <laughs> before i uh came here did you get and good so grades straight a's I all right say. look at that let's get a round of applause for straight a's <laughs> Only person in this room to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, so, does it? One last question, and then I'll uh, I'll let you play a couple songs for us. Do people seem to when when I bring up your name or when people are talking about you compare you to Justin Bieber. Does it does it get frustrating sometimes? That you're always brought up in the same breath as Justin Bieber because you're a very different artist. You know, it doesn't it did, it doesn't get frustrating at all because you know I, I met Justin a couple times. He's a good friend, and you know, being compared to the biggest pop star right now is yeah, not, I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's a great compliment. And you know, me and Justin are very different though. You know, Justin sings a different type of music, and I sing pop mm -hmm. rock. So mm -hmm. right on. So what are you gonna sing for us today? I'm going to do a cover of Empire State of Mind, nice. and I'm gonna do my single Waiting Outside the Lines. Awesome, cool. So perfect. So this is your, now you're going to do your single? Now I'm going to do my single and this is Waiting Outside the Lines. Alright, on Z100. Thank you. 
Coming and singing Thanks for, for us. Thanks for having me. All right. You have a piano and I'll be here. I like it. I like it. All the hits Z100.